It's Pat here, and I want to tell you a story. A story about a single question that when I began asking myself this question, I became more productive, got a lot happier, and I became more successful. And I want to share this question with you, and it all starts with this right here. A book that I picked up in 2008, The 4-Hour Work Week by Tim Ferriss. An absolute game changer for myself and millions of other people too. And this was at a time in 2008 when I was about to get laid off. So it was actually quite relevant to my story because I soon became an entrepreneur. I soon built my businesses in a way that allowed me to have more time and freedom. Much thanks to The 4-Hour Work Week. And I'll tell you, of all the things I've learned from all the people that I've heard on podcasts, that I've spoken to at mastermind events, that I've met at conferences, that I've seen speak on stage, there was one question that changed my life more than anything. And it actually came as a result of a conversation that I had with Mr. Tim Ferriss. It was at a time when I was building an online course and I was feeling very overwhelmed, very heavy, this task. And you might be doing something right now as a creator, as an entrepreneur, that feels very, very heavy, very complicated, like the light is just barely there at the end of the tunnel and it's just a lot of darkness with what you should be doing right now. That's how I was feeling at the time. I really wanted to create this online course, but I wanted to make it perfect. There was just so much to do. And Tim Ferriss proposed this question to me, the question that changed my life. He said, if this were easy, what would it look like? This is a very powerful and thought provoking question if you really think about it. Because number one, we always tend to, not just entrepreneurs, not just creators, all of us, we always tend to overcomplicate things for whatever reason, because we think it has to be harder than it actually is because other people did it in a certain way and they talked about how hard it was. Or perhaps it feels like this because we don't believe that we can do all these things and we're just making excuses. But when you think about this question, if this were easy, let's hypothetically believe that this thing that we're creating is actually easy. What would it look like? What would the process be if it were easy? We can begin to actually imagine, well, what do we really need in order for this to actually happen? What parts of this are necessary and which ones maybe aren't necessary or are too complicated that we're just wasting our time on. Now, with regards to this course, this course was a podcasting course. I had had six, seven years of podcasting experience at this time, and it felt very, very difficult for me to take this experience and put it into an online course for somebody. But if it were easy, what would it look like? It would just simply be me creating a new podcast and literally showing people the process along the way. So that's what I did. That's what actually made up the course. All I would have to do is just talk about what I was doing. Funny enough, this is the kind of content that I created on my blog. But when it came to something big like an online course, I didn't even think to do it in the way that I had already learned how to create. When it came to the launch of this podcast course, wow, so difficult. How am I gonna launch this? Do I need a three video series and go through the product launch formula and all these things? No, what if I just simply sent an email to my audience tell them that I was creating this course and see who would be interested to be some of the first to go through it. And since the launch of Power Up Podcasting in 2017, it has generated over $1.75 million. This is just one example of literally hundreds in my life that I've used this question. If this were easy, what would it look like? Let's take another project, an invention that my buddy Caleb and I created as a result of a pain that we saw and we experienced as video creators. For people who shoot video and especially selfies out and about while they travel, it can be very difficult to pack and travel with a tripod and open it up and close it up again as they move along. So we started asking, well, if we were to create something that was just easy, what would it look like? And after a number of different conferences we went to, a lot of conversations, a lot of prototypes, eventually we were guided to the solution, something easy, which we call the switch pod, a tripod that makes it easy to hold your camera out but then put your camera down. Easy. It has three legs, like a tripod, and they close on each other and you put it away. And for us, we just wanted to keep it simple to solve a simple problem. So the simple question, if this were easy, what would it look like? It helped us guide this product to a nearly half a million dollar launch in February of 2019. And since then, tens of thousands of people now use a switch pod to film. Now you might be thinking to yourself, wow, can it really be that easy? And that's exactly the reason why we get into trouble because we don't wanna believe that things are actually quite simple. Perhaps because we're embarrassed that it took us so long or because we don't think it can just be that easy, but it is. All you have to do is when you're about to get into a project or perhaps you're feeling the weight of a project you're already working on, simply ask yourself, if this were easy, what would it look like? 
Now it's my turn to ask you a question, and I'd love to hear your answer in the comment section. What's the one thing that you're going to use this question on? What projects are you working on that feel very heavy? And what did you learn by simply asking yourself the question, if this were easy, what would it look like? Let me know in the comment section below. Give a shout out to the project that you are working on, and I look forward to serving you in the next video. My name is Pat Flynn, and that's one of my stories.